What's up, beautiful? How you doing? Was that creepy or sexy? I don't know. Today we're watching people color their hair very bold, bright colors, which I love. Then again, I say that about everything, right? Every time I start these videos, I'm like, I love this. I guess I can love everything, right? Yes, I do. Let's watch people transform their hair from drab to fab. Ugh. Everybody says that. From laughable to graph to from La, blah, from blah to ooh. No, that doesn't even work. Okay, I'm out of options, so let's do it. Let's watch the videos. Woo! <laughs> I was having such an ugly day today. Like, I actually hated myself today. Don't feel bad for me. I'm not looking for like, oh, you look so good. No, I actually felt like shit today. And then I put on clothes, makeup, hair. This is a wig. It's not a wig. It's my real hair. And now I feel a lot better. So if you feel ugly today, just pamper yourself and you'll feel so much better. Except sometimes it's nice to like just feel your ugliness for a day, you know? Cause then the next day you like get ready and you're like, wow, I'm fucking hot. Like, sh that's my advice for today. Actually, I have a lot of advice probably. So we can <sighs> get more into that. Up first, we have a video by Laura and Fauna. I don't know, Fauna. Y'all need to <laughs> chill with the names. Fauna, Fauna. I am going to bleach my roots, dye my hair orange, and give myself a haircut. Brad Mondo's color super orange. Oh, <gasps> she's using super orange. Oh. <laughs> Such an underrated color. Like every color besides purple and red and blue and pink is underrated. Like, I love colors. Just so excited to get my hands on my hair. She has super dark roots. They're pretty long. She's bound to get some banding if she doesn't do this correctly. And I'm sure she won't. If you have an inch of root that is literally black and you are trying to do this at home, you're not going to get it done perfectly. Unless you're really, really, really good at doing your own hair. But I just don't think we're gonna get it right today. But that's okay. She only has to lift her hair to orange, to colored orange. She'll probably be fine. It's very sad satisfying to watch your hair lose all of its color and just destroy the hair fiber. Oh my god, I feel you. Ah, like just, oh, when the hair just starts to disintegrate. No, I actually don't like when the hair disintegrates. It gives me a panic attack. I do like when I just see all that pigment just come out of the hair and the hair just, mmm, becomes nice and clear and it's just great. This is what my hair looks like before. She has a work cut out for her. Even those ends need to be cleared out. Um, honestly, my color kind of fucking rocks. The orange would probably just cover all of that stuff going on on the ends. Well, well, you know, it's a little risky. The first thing I have to do is put coconut oil in my hair. And I know this is a controversial subject, but let me tell you why I'll do it. Brad Mondo would tell you, do not put coconut oil in your hair before you bleach it because it does nothing. Yeah, so why are you doing it? No, it does not protect your hair from damage. It might even dilute the bleach a bit. Are you gonna tell me why you think the coconut oil works? Because all I heard was you saying, Brad would hate this. Yeah, I don't really have a reason. Like, what was the reason? If you're putting it on your scalp, you know, it'll really help so that it doesn't burn and doesn't irritate, but the rest of your hair, it's not gonna do anything. So here we have the bleach, 20 volume and cream developer. I think that's a perfect choice for her. 20 volume for her fine hair is perfect. It's not going to over process. Because her hair is on the finer side, fine hair tends to process very quickly and very nicely and gets very very white easily so I don't think she's gonna have too many issues but you know we've seen crazier things happen oh and she's doing the mid she's doing the <laughs> what is that section called she's doing the mm, what is it not the direct regrowth <laughs> Fuck. Hold on. the part where she would get banding I forget what the name of it <laughs> I'm so out of it right now like so out of it She's not doing the direct regrowth. She's doing like the part above it. That's what we're gonna go with today. Um, and that's a great thing to do because that way she's not gonna get like white where the, the heat from the scalp is and then orange where the heat from the scalp does, isn't. I literally, mm, God, I sound, mm, I swear to God guys, I know what I'm talking about. It's just that sometimes there's so much hair things on my brain that I can't even like sort through the things that I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm gonna continue the video. She's doing a very thorough job and she's starting from the bottom working her way up. That is great, great, great. Three thumbs up, or is it five stars? That's better. I have to do the roots now. This is 
how it's going so far. It's giving I'm a hairdresser. Go you. I'm also, as I'm doing this, like rechecking my previous work to make sure I got every spot. Wow, this is one of the best DIY at home retouches I've ever seen. I'm gonna say it. I think the back is good. This is what I'm working with. That looks a little yellow. I would process that for longer. It looks like it's not quite there. I'm gonna wait and then I'm gonna go rinse this out. It turned out pretty even. There's a little bit of pink still in the front from where I dyed it before. For what she was working with, that looks really, really great. Now she's gonna do the other side and, and make it look the same. So hopefully we can do that. <laughs> And now my hair is fully bleached. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to tone the yellow bits. And I know like I'm putting orange over this so I shouldn't have to tone just because I know I'm not gonna get this color out. It is quite different to the top. That is a great plan. Honestly, she could have just put the orange over everything and it would have looked probably really great. But if she wants it perfect, then I think this is a great idea. However, I probably would have worked on the ends a little bit to get that gray out of there because I feel like that gray would come out really easily with just a bleach bath and it wouldn't cause much damage at all. But this is also another way to do it. It's just a little bit longer way of doing it and a little bit more tedious, but I think this will be good. I just, mm, putting gray in the hair and then putting orange, you're gonna get a more mucky, like, mm, dingy orange. Now that I have my hair sectioned into four, I'm going to cut off the same amount. And we're doing a chop, thank God, she needs it. Like it's just, uh, sorry, that's mean, but like I think you know and you obviously do because you're cutting it, just be good with the chop, it'll be good. I'm gonna add in some layers. Yeah, we got layers, okay, we got layers. She's killing this, she's transforming her hair and I'm so excited about it. This has glitter. In it. it has mica in it. Ethically sourced mica. Period. Um, and yeah, it's beautiful. I had to put sparkles in it. Come on, man. I remember when I formulated that color and they're like, you want sparkles in it? And I'm like, yeah, duh. Look at that super orange go to work. Oh, baby, it looks so good. Her hair is going to look and feel so much healthier because there's bond builders built into the product, all kinds of oils, there's hyaluronic acid. Her hair is going to feel and look just so luscious and incredible. I'm so excited for the results. I will let this process for 20 minutes and then I will rinse it out. My hair is orange. Pretty rockin' too. I'm really happy with it. And my hair is really soft. Holy sh! This is one of the most mind-blowing changes I've ever seen. Her hair looks so thick and full and healthy and oh my god, the root touch-up she did, the cut, the super orange color that she chose, everything looks incredible on her. The color is really even. Look at my hair. My hair is orange. I'm looking and wow, that is probably the most beautiful super orange transformation I've ever seen. I need more orange in my life. Wow, wow, wow. You did an incredible job. Five stars out of five stars. Great job. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Up next, we have a video by Batty Bear. It is time to dye my hair. The X Mondo color super pink. And then they also sent me the super gloss. And then this one is clear. So it still has all of the proteins and vitamins that they put into the color. Um, but this is just a gloss. So I can use it on top, give it an extra layer. Super gloss, baby. Ooh. You can use super gloss if you don't want to color your hair at all. And it will leave you with that X Mondo shine, that X Mondo sexiness, that X Mondo bond builder, that X Mondo just all around better, healthier hair feeling and glossier hair. All right, so I haven't washed my hair in a second. There's some stuff happening here. So there's definitely a lot going on. <laughs> we have some roots going on. We have some pink mids. We have some blonde blonde ends. And this can all be solved with some super pink. I feel confident that she's gonna end up with a really solid color at the end, even though she has all this going on because, you know, which you will. Whenever I'm coloring my own hair, I kind of like to do the front to get everything back and off of my face. By the way, guys, if you want the color to last as long as possible and you don't mind a little bit of extra work, you should clarify your hair before and then blow dry it and then apply the color. That way the color can stick onto that sh the most it can possibly stick onto it.
one thing I'm gonna say is drop the brush. Like you just don't need it. You could be so sloppy when applying semi-permanent color, especially my color, like just shoop, shoop, boom, 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 comb it through. Literally, it could take you two minutes. One quadrant done, I'm gonna finish the rest. I'll be back. Oh, I can already see this color developing and looking so beautiful and vibrant. Her skin is popping. Like pink is definitely her color. This makeup too, this makeup look while she's coloring her hair, girl. You got it all together while you're doing the color. I love it. And honestly, you were so precise with it. Though you don't need to be, you were, you're doing a great job applying it. And while we're waiting, I'm going to dye my extensions. Ooh, she's dyeing the extensions too. We're gonna get a full look. It's been about an hour. Time to rinse my hair out. I'm gonna rinse out my extensions that I colored. I'm gonna come back on here and share my final thoughts and give you guys the reveal. All right, we are back with it all finished. This is how it turned out. I went ahead and I put my extensions in. I have to say that I recommend this product. Coloring my hair with this and having all of that like vitamins and proteins that are in there really actually helped my hair. Like I'm not lying to you. It feels softer than it's felt in a long time. So I'm actually really, really excited about that. I really like it. The vibrancy is good. The consistency was great and not a lot of color ran out in the tub. So Oh, that's actually also really cool. A 10 out of 10 would recommend. That was a very sweet review and I appreciate it. Your hair, it looks so perfect. It looks like a wig. It looks so beautifully pink. Just incredible. I love the bangs. I love the length on you. I want to see it like wavy though and textured, but I love the vibrancy. You look amazing. Obsessed. Up next, we have a video by Reem Team Fam. First, I needed to trim my ends and add more layers. I brushed my hair up into a high ponytail or a unicorn horn Yo. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you guys out there who gag at gag sounds but I uh. then I placed a second ponytail holder in my hair and slid it down to where I wanted to cut the ends off since the hair is being directed over your head it will leave the bottom of your hair with some length while creating shorter even layers on top okay so she's getting into her haircut and then she's doing a color after and I'm so excited because she definitely needs both I just want to see her with a different color like I want to see her with something vibrant something fun something crazy something hot something sexy and I'm so glad she's getting some layering in there because it's so heavy right now you know it's so long just so much going on it's a good idea I went in for it with some hair cutting shears chopping just above the holder. If my hair was damp, it would have been a little easier on the scissors. Yeah, why is it not damp? Why is it not wet? And I'm glad you're cutting above the elastic. That is something that I'm very happy with. Dry works too. After removing the tail, I did some point cutting to soften the line and take weight off the ends so the layers don't look chunky. After giving it a good shake out, I was pleasantly surprised with how it turned out. <laughs> Looks perfect. What the fuck? I ordered some X Mondo color because I wanted a fun, dramatic change. I figured if watching Brad Mondo's hair tutorials worked with the haircut, then his color line wouldn't let me down either. Oh, I won't let you down, girl. We're doing slate gray, super purple, and super blue, and that color combination is perfection. You can put it straight onto your hair just using your hands if you want to. She is about to completely transform this blonde hair. She looks like a little blonde Barbie doll right now. Like, I'm so interested to see how she's gonna look with the very dark colors. I began by dividing my hair into four quadrants so I could have better control with how I applied the color. You can tell that all of you in today's video like watch my videos because you're so good at doing your own hair. Like what? I'm like over here watching this thinking why is everybody so good? And I'm giving myself the credit. Since I didn't want the colors to blend into each other, I chose to use foils to separate each section of color. So you actually don't need to use foils in my color unless you're using maybe maybe super yellow or orange it might transfer from different sections but for the most part you can just lay the color over in sections even if one section is purple one section is pink you're not gonna get much transfer because my color really stays in place and once it's put there it's not going to transfer to other sections unless you're like smushing your hair down and pushing it I tried to take small subsections but I will admit I probably took too large of pieces because I really had to push that color color through so that I didn't get any missed spots. Smaller pieces would have been easier to paint. And looking back after the fact, I probably would have been fine without the foils because the texture of this color is almost gel-like. 
Exactly. It's a gel texture, slightly on the thicker gel side. It's hard to explain the texture, but I would recommend first doing your roots, getting all of your roots on there, and then going on your ends, because it's gonna be hard to get your roots in while you're doing foils at the same time. She's doing a phenomenal job. I'm just so beyond excited to see these results. These colors are already looking so bright and luscious as she applies them. I'm like ready for the transformation. As I worked up to the top of my first quadrant, it was more difficult to place the foils. After I finished in the back, I decided I wanted to have the top of my hair have bold stripes. I made another section in the middle. I was going for a box down that mohawk section, but it came out a bit triangular, which was fine. The point was to have vertical slices here so that when I do a center part, there'd be stripes of color. Even the sectioning, the talent here, she's doing diagonal forward sections, she's doing horizontal sections, she's doing all different kinds of patterns to make sure when she parts her hair, it looks all different and cool and I am blown away. I'm blown away. There's just something so satisfying about changing your hair color. I believe people should be free to express themselves through their style and that shouldn't offend anybody else. Be true to yourself. I love this girl, I love you. It's exactly how I feel. Be yourself, do whatever the fuck you want, who cares? After all this effort, I was very happy with the results. My hair felt soft and was shiny and as you can see, I did my makeup to complement my new hair colors using purple and blue eyeshadow. I hope you enjoyed watching this hair tutorial and feel more confident to cut and color your own hair at home too. Oh my god, I, I almost just ruled. <laughs> I just drooled a little bit. Like it was about to come out of my mouth. I was like so shocked. What the fuck? today. It's like mind-blowing these transformations. Um, she looks like a different person. She looks incredible. She looks so cool. She just went from like Barbie to punk so quickly right before my eyes. Whoa. And the color is so vibrant and so sick and like the combination of the color, she, her, the application method. What the hell? Amazing. I can't even sit here. Like I'm so shocked by that. Whoa. <sighs> Well, that made my life. Thank you for those videos. Um, you guys are incredible. And thank you for using my color. I'm so glad you guys liked it and had amazing results. That was so awesome to watch. If you wanna check out my hair color line or my hair care products, you can do so with the link right down below and the things they use in today's video will be linked below for you too. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.